The Galaxy S23 Ultra is the best Android flagship phone, at least we used to think so. By all indications, Samsung flagship phone has all the best – design, processor, cameras and screen. Or we were wrong all along. In 2019, users on Samsung's official forum began asking the company why the screens of their favorite phone hurt their eyes and sometimes cause headaches. How is it that the best screen on the market, at least one of the worst screen on the market? Let's find out. I think each of you has sometimes noticed that if you try to shoot an image on a Samsung Galaxy phone screen with a camera, we will see a lot of flickering. Yes, all phone screens produce flicker, but for some reason Samsung screens are more prone to it than others. PWM or Pulse Width Modulation is a technology that turns diets on and off at various rates. This technique, which turns the display on and off, is how phone screens are lit up. A faster PWM means that flickers happen too fast to be seen by the human eye, while slower speeds can cause the aforementioned eye strain, headaches, seizures and eye pain. You probably already guessed that PWM on the Galaxy S23 Ultra's phone is the lowest among the all flagship devices. Here is an example. The screen flicker frequency on the iPhone 14 Pro Max is 480 Hz. The flicker frequency of the Pixel 7 Pro is 240 Hz. And in the last Pixel 6 Pro it was higher than 360 Hz. The Galaxy S23 Ultra also has a flicker frequency of 240 Hz, which is the one of the worst indicators on the market. Why can the Galaxy S23 Ultra screen cause eye pain and fatigue. One user on Twitter gives a good explanation. Imagine that there is an electric fan in front of you. When its speed is low enough, you can see the blades of the fan turning one by one in front of your eyes. Your eyes will get tired, but after its speed becomes faster, you will not be able to see the fan blades. This problem applies to AMOLED screens. Smartphones with IPS screens do not have this disadvantage. But the difficulty is that these days it is almost impossible to find a smartphone with a good IPS screen. All manufacturers have switched to AMOLED and OLED screens. However, some Chinese manufacturers have managed to solve this problem. To understand how this happened, let's understand how the principle of flicker works on the Galaxy S23 Ultra screen. The main problem of PWM is that at maximum brightness the Galaxy S23 Ultra screen works fine, but as soon as we start reducing the brightness of the screen, the flickering effect starts to increase. Why does this happen? To reduce the brightness of the display, manufacturers use one of two ways. Reduce the voltage so that the glow is weaker or reduce the frequency at which the glow appears at all. The second is PWM – pulse width modulation. In a sense, it is a forced measure the lesser of two evils. At high brightness, PWM is not necessary, because high voltage allows each pixel to produce the correct color. But because of the low current, dim diets start to work incorrectly, shades deviate from the calibrated values, yellow spots may appear, red color may go to pink. Of course, not only Samsung and Apple, but any other manufacturers will not take such risks. We have to get out of this situation somehow. If you cannot really reduce the luminous power, you have to use an optical trick and trick the brain. To do this, the display overlaps the visible parts of the image at a high frequency. And the sequence coming from the eyes, the brain forms into a dimmer and a yet integral picture. Our brains ignore the flicker for several reasons. At a sufficient rate of change, the shaped frames do not have time to be recorded in the head, because they are replaced at high speed by contrasting images that are very similar to each other. They are better imprinted on the retina because of the complex pattern compared to an element without light information. This phenomenon or concept called 
the flicker fusion threshold. The lower the brightness, the shades frames appear more often and cover part of the interface faster, creating the illusion of shading. It turns out that for some people this type of flicker is harmful. Some people's eyes begin to hurt when the screen is dimly lit at night, and some people may even experience headaches and migraines. This problem has been successfully solved by Chinese smartphone manufacturers, and the first to do so was OnePlus, introducing a feature called DC Dimming. After activating the corresponding function, the increase of the brightness on the smartphone screen is not reduced by PWM, but by changing the voltage. DC dimming has a disadvantage – it strongly changes the color rendering on the screen. But because at low brightness values the colors are not so pronounced, the Chinese manufacturers consider it better than the possible harm to users' vision. But Samsung for some reason did not do this. So can the Galaxy Galaxy S23 Ultra screen cause discomfort and headaches. Yes, it can. And as the reviews show, there are more and more such people. Why doesn't Samsung, which is the larger manufacturer of the screens, solve this problem? There are two reasons. Economy and bureaucracy. Manufacturers use it because it helps keep costs down allowing devices to sold at lower prices than they might cost otherwise. If you have a Galaxy S23 Ultra and it makes your eyes hurt, now you know why it happens. Unfortunately, there is no solution to solve this problem. Either use the smartphone only at maximum brightness, which is not very comfortable at night or in the evening, or change the device. Guys, thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel and don't miss a new video. Bye!